Today on the podcast, I want to talk about the state of AI salaries. This is something there's been a big research done by Rora, um, a research institute. I'll talk more about this and, uh, you know, where this data comes from. But this is absolutely fascinating. We have the, you know, final compensation for AI researchers at OpenAI, Anthropic, Tesla, Amazon, Google Research, DeepMind, Twitter, NVIDIA, IBM, Samsung, Hugging Face, and a ton of others. I want to break down exactly how much all of these places are pain because I think it's very um, eye-opening. But before we get into that, um, I'll just give you the background on this. So this is actually the Rora 2023 salary negotiation report for AI researchers. Um, this is the fifth and uh, the fourth and this essentially is done from fourth and fifth year PhDs or final year postdoctorates transitioning from academia to um, the industry of machine learning. And also these are people with early career, uh, you know, these are early career professionals in AI. So um, a little bit of background on Aurora is that they've coached hundreds of PhDs on career decisions and offer negotiations. Um, and then there's also some assistance provided by a bunch of top AI companies like Google Brain, DeepMind, OpenAI, um, and Anthropic that have also helped validate all of the data here. So the purpose of what their report they just did was essentially to just share some knowledge and support the transition from academia to um, the AI industry. But without further ado, let's get into this and actually talk about how much these AI companies are paying their top researchers. Before we do, I wanted to say this episode is sponsored by AI Box, my very own AI app store and marketplace that we will be launching shortly. If you're interested in investing in a new AI startup, you can go to republic.com slash AI dash box. I'll leave a link in the show notes and you can check it out. Let's dive into the episode. We gonna bring it to you just like that. Welcome everyone to the future. It's AI Chat, bringing you the interviews and giving you info to be in the know. Tech company CEOs of Rock with us, bet you gonna come back. Come back. I'm just saying the facts. This is AI Chat. Let's go. My big takeaway here is that despite tech layoffs happening in virtually all the tech companies, demand for AI talent is increasing. So three key areas um, as far as recruiting AI talent. Uh, number one is that new industry research labs, Inflection, Anthropic, Altos Labs, all of those are um, definitely uh, hiring a lot. The second is venture-backed AI startups, right, especially after ChatGPT. And the third is non-tech industries like finance, healthcare, and science are all hiring AI talents, AI scientists to help them implement AI into their business. So there's definitely a shortage of AI talent in the U.S., 33,500 positions are needed with a 21% annual increase in demand. So obviously this is something that is growing very, very rapidly. So the question is, what do companies value in this, right? What are they actually looking for? So things that are high demand, um, high demand research areas include machine learning applications or applicants um, and applications in computer vision, robotics, natural language processing, biology, neuroscience, and large language models. Um, and the evaluation criteria of the actual AI researchers that are being hired right now, they want them to have proven research skills. They want them to have publication record um, and a, a high citation count, right? So they're looking for people that are actually putting out papers and, and being cited. Um, they're looking for people with papers that are selected for top AI conferences. This is something that uh, is important. Um, and then also people that have work experience outside of academia, that's including internships and other things like that. And they're looking for people that have connections with industry professionals uh, through academic work. So the highest paying companies for AI researchers um, was recently uncovered, essentially data from over 610 new grad PhD researchers um, was kind of pulled together for this. And the compensation includes uh, that we're going to cover, we're going to cover the compensation for all these top companies, but this includes base salary, bonuses, and equity, right? So the stock options and all that, everything all rolled together is kind of what we'll be talking about. Um, so there's a ton of different companies here, and I think this is super, super interesting, but I'm just going to start reading down the list, or maybe I'll start from the bottom and work our way up. I will tell you the top companies are paying over $800,000, and we're starting off at the, the bottom. We have Hugging Face, which is the open source AI model um, kind of discovery platform and host, and Hugging Face all in all is paying $238,000 a year. Um, for these, for their new researchers they're bringing in. Samsung Research bumped up to 285. The Allen Institute is 350. IBM is paying 377,000. NVIDIA is 390. And Twitter is actually paying 409,000. 
Um, it's interesting because all of these have different kind of levels of uh, base salary to compensation. So I would say, I guess I'll just highlight a couple outliers, which is that um, IBM actually is paying 262. So, you know, sub like we're pretty much above 250, but they have a 43% um, kind of stock options and benefits pool that bumps them up to 377, which is interesting. Toyota research is actually beating Twitter at 410. Salesforce is at 441. Microsoft is at $449,000. Apple's at 450. Now, this is interesting because, of course, Apple's doing a lot with AI. We know they're building it into all of their products. It's not a company that gets necessarily talked about um, a lot when it comes to consumer AI applications and people criticize them for it, but they're obviously paying very, very high. One thing I will bring up is one of the one of the biggest outliers, there's a couple others that I'll bring up, but one of the biggest outliers is actually Microsoft when it comes to the split between their starting salary and like their their benefits and stuff. So the starting, the actual salary that they're doing cash is 270. So again, sub 300, but they have a 66% um, negotiated delta, which brings it up to 449,000, pretty much 450,000, right, right about the same thing as Apple. Um, but Apple only has a 33% uh, negotiated delta. In any case, Bloomberg AI, um, interesting, right? Like we've been talking about uh, Bloomberg, I believe has Bloomberg GPT and they're they're building some products there, but it's not definitely not a company that we, we talk about uh, as much, but they're at 460,000. DeepMind, 515,000, no surprise there. Actually, a lot of that is just flat cash. So DeepMind is paying really, really well. And it's interesting that they're, um, they're actually a little bit below Google research, but I'll get into that in a second. So there's DeepMind 515, Waymo 530, and then Google research at 550. Um, but Google research in contrast to DeepMind, right? So both of these companies are owned by Google. Uh, DeepMind only has a 13% Delta. So they're really paying a lot of that cash. Whereas Google research has a, I think the highest negotiated Delta of any company on this list, um, at 77%, meaning their base is only 310, but they pay 550 after all of the benefits and options and equity. Um, next, we have Fair, which is paying 556. TikTok is paying 605. Google Brain um, is paying 695. Again, they're interesting because they have a under, they have a 17% negotiated delta. So a lot of that is just cash, 590 cash. Um, but Google Brain is, you know, very close to 700. Amazon is 719. Tesla is 780. And that, again, is interesting to me. Of course, Elon Musk owns both Tesla and Twitter, but obviously a massive difference. Tesla is at 780 and Twitter is at 409. So a huge difference, but Tesla is obviously much more profitable and Twitter has a lot of profitability issues they're trying to work through. Okay, we've now come to the final three AI companies how much their final annual compensation is. This, I believe, will shock you a little bit. In third place, we have inflection with $825,000 final annual compensation. This is impressive, but also inflection is one of the top most funded AI companies. A few people, not a lot of people know this because they're not a massive company, but the co-founders are Mustafa Suleiman and Reid Hoffman, who's the CEO of LinkedIn, and it's funded by Bill Gates, who owns, you know, funded started Microsoft, who owns LinkedIn. So, you know, there's a lot of connections there. But inflection is eight hundred and twenty five thousand dollars. Incredible. Anthropic is second place with eight hundred and fifty five thousand. And OpenAI, not to be outdone by anyone, is paying a final annual compensation package of eight hundred and sixty five thousand dollars negotiated delta is 30 thousand or 30 percent so that's initial compensation is 665 which is interesting because anthropic has no negotiated delta they're just pure cash at 855 um this is fascinating to me absolutely mind-blowing that we have open ai final annual compensation paying eight hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars a year to ai researchers phds in particular absolutely amazing this industry has heated up so much since the beginning of the year. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see, you know, how this essentially moves forward, what this grows to. You know, a lot of this, the the salaries here, they're driven by just a very high demand and comp on competition between these companies, right? So these, these companies are paying what it's worth to them 
and what it's worth to also not have you know their competitors um, with those employees. And what's interesting to me is we've seen a lot of employees from these companies like OpenAI go and spin out their own AI startups. People from Anthropic go and spin out their own AI startups. So it's very interesting to me to to kind of see um, these are very, very valuable people when it comes to what we're seeing in AI and how the AI industry is growing. So I'll definitely keep you up to date on everything that evolves in this area. Have you ever wanted to start your own podcast? I record and publish podcasts on a platform called Spotify for Podcasters, and I absolutely love it. Essentially, you can upload from your phone or computer, and it distributes to every platform that plays podcasts. They support video podcasts, and you can make money on the platform with ads or even podcast subscriptions, something that has made my life so much easier as a podcaster. So if you're interested, I highly recommend you give it a try. You can download the Spotify for Podcast app, or go to spotify.com slash podcasters to get started on your podcast today. This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Forget the frustration of picking commerce platforms when you switch your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling wherever you sell. With Shopify, you'll harness the same intuitive features, trusted apps, and powerful analytics used by the world's leading brands. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tech, all lowercase. That's shopify.com slash tech. Thank you for listening to the AI Chat Podcast. If you enjoyed the podcast, I'd appreciate it if you rate me wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you're looking for an innovative group of AI enthusiasts, make sure you check out our Discord channel and also our Facebook community. It's obviously a lot more interactive than a podcast where we can actually share software tools, prompts that we're using in everyday AI. I'll leave a link for those in the description below.